What's your expectation from this union budget? I think for me to have expectations is inappropriate. I think what's more important for me is to bring out some of the challenges this country has and see how that goes. So I think one of the biggest challenges we have as a country is we're urbanizing. And we need to provide facilities for our people in specific housing. And I think this government has made a commitment to housing for all for which it should be commended. And I'm actually going to talk about that in a little bit more detail. So I think the word housing for all is important and the focus is on all. Historically, the focus has been on the very poor. They certainly need housing and they need government help. They can't afford it. But today, the middle class also needs housing. And there's a very interesting group of people whom I call the lower middle class. These are people who are earning between 10,000 and 25,000 rupees a month. Your rickshaw wala, your hat gadi wala, right. the person who works in your house, the family income of 12, 15,000. Right. On the flip side, if you look at even property prices today in the suburbs, where you have good connectivity, where you have schools for their children, you can actually make 300 square feet houses mm -hmm. and give it to them at sub 10 lakhs. Our problem is, while there is some amount of the supply going on, we have tracked over 100,000 houses, sub 10 lakhs, sold in cities like Mumbai, Ahmedabad, Pune. Some of the government regulations today are not conducive. It takes too long to get an approval. There are other restrictions. So I think if the government, rather than just thinking in the budget of money, also puts in place regulation and enabling environment for affordable housing, it will be important. The second thing I like to bring out in the budget again is not so much amount of money, but the format in which it's used. So we have to give subsidies. At some level, the poor cannot buy a house on their own. But rather than giving it to a developer and expecting it flow down to the customer, if we can actually give it to the customer so they can go out and buy it from the developer, the developer has to make profits. Let's not kid ourselves. He's not there for charity. Let him charge his fair price. Let there be enough competition amongst developers. And the way we'll get competition amongst developers if there are enough people buying from the developer. So let's give our subsidies to the end customer. Let's enable choice, which will then actually nurture competition amongst developers and actually give rise to good housing. So two things. One is change the environment in terms of regulation, etc., to enable more housing. Secondly, give the choice to the customers. Those are the two points I would like to make around the budget, if not directly on the budget. I think for me, the word eight years is less important. What matters is can we actually get large magnitudes out and scale happening. Whether it takes six years, whether it takes ten years is not an issue. But we need to prove we can do this in the next two years in large volumes. Our need is in the 18-20 million house range today. It'll increase. If we can get even two million houses out in the next two, three years, that's huge. That's a good direction. We can scale that up. So maybe not eight years, maybe seven, maybe ten, less important. Let's get action on the ground now. That's, I think, more important at scale.